This mountain of trash is not simply a garbage dump. It's now home to a growing number of displaced Yemenis in the Houthi-controlled city of Hodeidah. Despite health risks, it provides a place to sleep, food, and even a source of income for 11-year-old Ayub, its newest resident. We came here to eat and drink from the garbage. I collect bread and plastic, and I go back to sell it for money to buy food. The nearly three-year war in Yemen has led to a diphtheria outbreak that's spreading quickly, a cholera outbreak that's killed more than 2,000 people, and the deaths of thousands more from the violence, disease, and malnutrition. The Saudi-led coalition has been an utter disaster for the civilians of Yemen. Add on top of that the blockade which while you know, temporarily eased is still quite severe, so it's urgent really to address the world's largest humanitarian crisis in Yemen, and the only way to do that is to squeeze the Saudis. And it's that international squeeze that's led the Saudi-led coalition to ease the blockade that was imposed on ports and airports in November. Now UN aid agencies are calling for the port of Hodeida to remain open after Friday, the date set by the coalition to allow the continued delivery of life-saving goods and fuel. There is no future in the country. Better do this than bag. We gather plastic bottles and bread and make do with what we can get. The UN says four mobile cranes arrived in Hodeida and for now the port is open. But the fate of millions of Yemenis facing famine rests with the coalition. Brandis Alexander, Al Jazeera.